Oh man, I'm so excited for you guys because you get to learn about velocity today. What a treat. Sound velocity. This is the speed of sound. And while technically, if you want to get all scientific about it, sound can vary in its speed depending on the temperature and the air pressure, um, for the purposes of this class, we're going to say that it goes at approximately... one thousand one hundred and thirty feet per second okay one thousand one hundred thirty feet per second here's an easy way to remember that just imagine someone saying hey what time is it and your answer is you look at your wrist and you say oh it's almost lunch put your finger on your wrist oh it's almost lunch it's eleven thirty eleven thirty feet per second Okay. So hopefully that stupid little thing will help you always remember how fast speed goes. All right, let's uh, let's demonstrate how this works. We need to know this as audio engineers because of a little thing called delay. And let me fix this. Okay, delete that. So because it sound travels at that certain speed you know, slower than light. That means it's it's possible for us to see something before we hear it. So let's say this is an overhead diagram of a football stadium. And, you know, here's your end zones. And right here in between the two is, I know it's a hundred yards. So what does that mean? 300 feet? 300 feet in between there. Let's say we've got our jumbotron up here. It's got some big speakers. So we've got audio waves coming out of these speakers. Okay. So if I'm a football player right here on the on the field, there is a slight delay, but I'm not going to notice anything. But if I'm way back here, let's say I'm, I'm up at the top of the stands, and so these audio waves have to come all the way across the football field to get to me. So it's going to be more than 300 feet because you got a little bit here, you got a little bit here, you got all the stands. So maybe that's maybe that's 600 feet. Okay. So how long does it take for me to hear that sound? 600 feet. So here's the equation that we're going to use. It's not it's not exact. You could get on your calculator and figure it out exactly. But for our class, we're going to go um, you take the number of feet and you divide it by 10 equals 60. And then you take this number and you subtract it from the original number. 600 minus 60 is 540. And that's how many milliseconds of delay. I keep writing it like that. Milliseconds of delay. So I'm going to hear the sound 540 milliseconds after it happens or a little more than a half of a second. Okay, so not a huge issue at a football game to hear something a half of a second after the announcer says it, but what if on this same football field you've gone to a concert? Okay, so maybe they've put up a stage right here and the band's playing on the stage and they've got some big speakers up here. Okay, and here's your your audio coming out. And if I'm standing right here, or if I'm standing way back here, I'm going to hear it at different times. So what if right here I'm standing at 300 feet away, and right here I am 700 feet away? Okay, so for the 300 feet, 
300 minus what's 300 divided by 10? You can basically just take off that last zero. That's 30. So here I'm going to hear it 270 milliseconds after it happens. And then over here I will hear it 700 minus 70 is 630. 630 milliseconds after. So this is a pretty significant delay. If I'm watching a concert and I'm hearing everything, you know, if you're watching the drummer, you're going to see him hit the drums uh, more than a half second before you hear those drums. So here's what they do when concert people are setting those things up, is they they might put another set of speakers halfway down and then put uh, they might put a delay on these speakers so that the person here, well hmm. how does that work? Yeah, put a delay on these ones so they hear it at the same time right so that way they're going to hear it if they're th 300 feet away they'll hear it at the same time these people hear it they wouldn't need to put it, I don't know they're going to hear a little bit of an echo from these I guess if there's no delay but that way it's not quite so far away for these people and they hear it sooner here's another situation uh, what if you're at a movie theater right here's the screen there's the the movie shown on the screen you've got all these rows so if it's a small movie theater you might only be 50 feet back and the delay is negligible but if it's a really huge movie theater and you are you know let's say you're 300 feet back so you're gonna have a delay of 270 milliseconds quarter of a second doesn't seem like a lot but in a movie if you're if it's constantly going a quarter of a second late you're definitely going to notice that and it's going to start bugging you so to compensate for that they can put speakers all through here but then they're going to have to adjust the delay basically what they're going what they're going to do is on these front speakers put a little bit of a delay so they're aiming for this person here. So that means the people in the front will hear it a little bit before it happens and the people in the back will hear it a little bit after it happens but it won't be as noticeable as this. It'll be maybe uh, 100 milliseconds or something so or less. Alright so there's going to be some questions on the test to calculate delay so for example if I am 1000 feet away well let's let's just write the equation first so the delay equation is distance minus distance divided by 10. And that's the delay in milliseconds. And this is distance in feet. Okay, so if I know my distance is uh, 1,000 feet, then I need to minus 1,000 divided by 10, which is 100. 1,000 minus 100 is 900. And that is the delay in milliseconds. <laughs> Can I write this correctly for once? Milliseconds. There, 900 milliseconds of delay. If... Uh, distance minus 
distance divided by 10. If my distance, let's do a uh, not perfectly round number, 763 feet. So what is that divided by 10? Well, it is 76.3. Okay, so now that is 7, that is 6, that is 8, okay, and then there's a decimal there. So now I'm 686.7 milliseconds. Alright, so any question that comes up about how how much of a delay there is, this is how you figure it out. Good luck.